In this video, I'll be giving you my honest physical therapist opinion about using a hand grip strengthener for elbow, wrist, and hand problems. This is especially important for you if you're suffering from problems like tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, carpal tunnel syndrome, arthritis in your hand, or tendonitis anywhere in those same areas. First, let me tell you about the features of this. So it's made out of a very hard plastic and it's covered in this rubber coating right here where your hands would go around the, the handles right here. Then it's got this spring and this is a very tight, pretty thick spring. And so it's got a lot of resistance whenever you squeeze a device right here, the hinge moves and it puts pressure, tension through the spring. Now the spring is attached to a screw that's within this part of the handle. And that screw can be turned with this knob. And there's a little plus or minus sign. It's hard to see because it's the same color, but you can see it if you are in person there. And when you turn it to the plus side, which is clockwise in this case, it moves the spring further out towards the 60 kilogram side and it moves the spring further in towards the five, the, the 10 kilogram side or five kilogram side whenever you turn it all the way in the other way. So it adds and removes tension, making the handle easier or more difficult to, to squeeze together. Now, obviously this goes from five kilograms to 60 kilograms, which works out to about 10 pounds to about 130 pounds. Now, let me tell you how to use this grip strengthener. Now, most people will tell you to just repeatedly squeeze it like this, but I think that that's inappropriate. There's a much better way to do it, and it's because of the way our hands designed. How many things do you do throughout the day? And I'm talking on a general scale, not specific things, but on a general scale, most things you do throughout the day are not repetitive squeezing. Most things you grip onto and you hold it for several seconds, if not maybe even longer, as you're moving it around. Think of like cooking or doing yard work. Think of doing chores around the house. You grip onto that broomstick and you're sweeping or you're mopping. You grip onto that pot handle and for a few seconds you might be moving it around. Our hands are designed to grip and hold things, so why not strengthen it that way? Grip and hold rather than repeated grip and let go. This is just not a practical movement. Now what I recommend doing is holding for 10 seconds and if you think about it, you're not really strengthening if you can bring the handles together. I mean you're using some muscle effort to do, to do this but you can go more if the handles are able to come together. So you've got to adjust the tension so that it makes your grip struggle so that you can't bring the handles together because then you're not really strengthening beyond what your current strength level is. So I'm gonna move this all the way out because for me, that's where I need to be. I need to be in the hundreds zone. And when you have difficulty and you're shaking a bit to bring those handles together, now you're at the right tension. Now there's another reason for holding whenever you're doing grip strengthening. There's an idea called muscle tetany. Many people think of muscle tetany as lock jaw and it's along the same lines except there's a normal muscle tetany that all our muscles can achieve. Now all this means is that there's a constant signal from the nerves in the head that connect to the muscles that you're using and the more signals reach the muscle that you're using, the more cells or the more fibers within that muscle are going to be activated to be used. This creates for a more efficient muscle contraction because theoretically in muscles that are weak or just aren't used very frequently, some of those muscle fibers kind of shut down. They, they hibernate a bit. The body's very efficient, so it likes to say, well, if I'm not gonna be used, I'm gonna shrink, wither away, just kind of hibernate, be inactive. This happens to a lot of people in their muscles. And you're able to compensate with other muscles and only use the ones that you're used to using and you might not be using those deeper muscles that need to be used in order to get the right balances around your joints. So doing those holds with significant resistance is really important to activate that tetany feature that I'm talking about in your body so that you can get the muscles to work to their full potential and you're strengthening them all together rather than just the strongest muscles. Now one more thing to note here is that whenever you're gripping, the handle curvature here, it curves out this way. So your pinky has to really reach out, depending on the size of your hand, of course, in order to, to grip down. If you have a weakness on the outer part of your hand, which is very possible, you can accommodate that weakness by flipping the handle upside down like this. Now this might allow you to reach your pinky around better. 
Another thing that you can do is flip it backwards because that might be easier for you to hold on to. You can also hold it right side up, but backwards, and maybe that's a little bit easier for you. I always tell my clients that I have working with a grip strengthener to play with the position to focus on the weakest part of your grip. And because we use our hands so much, I think it's important for you to frequently do exercise with this. So I tell my patients to hold this for 10 seconds at a time whenever you're doing a grip strength exercise and repeat it 10 times in a row. And then do this hourly throughout the day until you get your problem resolved. As long as there's no pain that's increasing from doing this, it should be good for you to keep going and keep strengthening throughout the day. Now let me tell you about the pros of this. I love the design, it's so sleek, it's so simple. The old grip strengtheners that I used to use, you had to get them with certain resistance and they were fixed. It was a 10 pound one or a 20 pound one, 30, 40, and 50 and so forth, and you had to have a set of them. This takes away the set, you can adjust this and get it to the right size. Now, I have seen some that are in pounds rather than in kilograms. For me, it doesn't really matter. I just put it to the setting that I need it at based on how I feel. I don't need to track a specific number. So those are my favorite pros about this is that it's adjustable and it's super lightweight and you only need one. Now the cons, there aren't really many. If anything, I would love to see a design that doesn't offer the angled handles right here. I'd love to see parallel handles because that's kind of how our grip is supposed to be. I get it that there's a hinge here in the spring, the design of this, it just kind of needs to be in, in this angled position. But ultimately when you get it down right here, they're more parallel. So I'd love to see a, a parallel device developed. I don't know how popular it would be either because I'm probably one of the few people thinking of things in these terms. Not many people think about this, but this is still effective. I wouldn't say that it's a deal breaker. Plus you're gonna have a hard time finding some parallel device. By the way, if you know of one, please drop it in the comment, link it in the comment so that I can find it because I'd love to be able to get one. Now let me give you my honest physical therapist opinion about these grip strengtheners. I think they're highly, highly, highly underutilized. They're so practical. Uh, they're overlooked all the time. People think of all the big weights that make you look aesthetic, you know, that make you look big and the obvious muscle groups that are worked out like the biceps or the leg muscles. You know, we're talking upper body. People even think about their forearm muscles, which this does strengthen. But what isn't talked about a lot is the strength of the palm muscles. And that's extremely important for fixing problems like carpal tunnel, arthritis of the hand, uh, even elbow pain can be affected by the hand strength. And so if you strengthen your hands properly then you're going to get so much better and have a better quality of life one of the things that I look at in my patients that come in with problems anywhere from the elbow down to the fingers is what the meat of their palms look like so I'm looking at this side of the palm for sure the, the meat thickness the thickness of the muscles here in the palm but also on the back of the hand between the bones of the hand if there's a big uh, indention right here and it looks like you can see all their bones very easily there isn't much meat especially when they clench their fists like that you can see my my muscles pop out on the back of my hands right here if you have a big indention here as is associated in people as they get older then that's a sign that the muscles that are between the bones right there have just gotten weaker and weaker those are the palm muscles and those do get stronger if you strengthen your grip appropriately with a grip strengthener you've got to adjust the position slightly so that you close the gripper a bit and get it right here on this part of your palm because if it's outer fingers over here then you're going to strengthen more of the forearm muscles but if you can get that grip strengthener down as close into your palm as possible and then think about shutting your palm closed kind of like you're doing this motion right here then you can really strengthen those palm muscles and that helps with things like thumb arthritis trigger finger so many other problems now, these come in at under 10 bucks. You can even get a pair for under 10 bucks. Sometimes they're on sale. You can get higher end ones that are made out of metal for a little bit more. There's a variety of different colors and shapes and the springs come in different colors. There's so much out there, but this is your basic one that you're probably gonna find everywhere. I put a link to getting a pair of these from Amazon. It's in the description below. Go check that out if you wanna get one. I highly recommend getting the pair or maybe even multiples because you wanna keep them where it's convenient to use them. Like at your favorite chair, maybe at your office, at your desk space, your workspace, wherever you, you work. I've seen people take these in their purse or in their bag when they travel. Some keep these in the car as well. You just gotta be sure to be safe while you're driving. If you've ever suffered from any sort of elbow, wrist, or hand problem, like I've mentioned, in this video 
highly worth it. Just get yourself one of these now and start working on your grip strength on a consistent basis so that you're not running into worse problems later in life. Hey, if you thought this video was helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. We make videos with helpful tips, advice, exercises, and stretches for a variety of conditions, not just hand, wrist, and elbow problems. Go check out our playlists and you'll probably find a condition that you can get help with. And please turn on our notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos we post each and every week. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.